Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. Well, in this video, I will talk about one certain problem. Now here, first you take a look. So here is my bottom navigation bar. This is the bottom navigation bar and background color is white. Okay, of course I can change it to blue if I want. I will see blue bottom navigation bar. But now, anyway, I'll use it as a white. So I have three tabs over here. Okay, yeah. Now I want to add one more tab, which I will do. I will come over here and add the last one. And over here, I also need to add a page for the route. So now you'll see we have four tabs, okay? So this is the first one. Now look at it carefully. If you click on them, it moves, okay? And as it moves, the color changed. You come over here, the background color is white, but now here it's gray. Now it, it happened because it's shifting, okay? So it when it shifts, it goes back to its default property settings. So we need to override it. Because it shifts, so the background color goes back to the default one in general, which is, I would say, gray. So now we can override this thing, okay? To override this thing, we have a property here we can use, it's called type. And for type, it takes a property, it's called uh, bottom navigation bar type this one and it it is some of the few properties that is a fixed and shifting actually for now currently it's a shifting property and this is the default value of course if you run it you see it, it still shifts because the default one now we can change it to fixed okay and if you do that now you tap on them you see well now the color is over here on the front page same as the background color of my front page okay so color because i want it to be white i don't want any other color now you can make it fixed when it, you fix it actually it doesn't move as it doesn't move it also uh it doesn't override uh, the one you set over here okay so this is how they are connected